Welcome to AmeenAcademy.com. In strength of material, let us discuss about analysis of bars of varying sections. Here, look at this figure. Here, a bar of different length of different diameters and hence different cross sectional area is given in figure. Look at this figure. Here, axial load P is applied axially. Now, let this cross section of the section 1 is A1, this is section 2, this is uh, A2, this is A3. The length of that sections are L1, L2, and L3. Now, each section is sub subjected to the same axial load P, yet the stresses, strains, and change in length will be different because of even it is the axial load is same for each section because of varying cross section, it uh, affects different stress and strain. The total change in length will be obtained by adding the changes in length of individual sections. Now, let P equal axial load, axial load acting on the bar. L1 equal length, length of section 1. L2 length of section 2 l3 length of section 3 now a1 similarly a1 a2 and a3 are cross sectional area areas of section 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Now let E is the Young's modulus. Young's modulus. Now in section 1 stress equal load by area which is equal P over A1 like that let it be this uh, sigma 1 like that in section 2 that is uh, stress sigma 2 equal P by A2 and sigma 3 equal P by A3. Now let strain strain in section one, comma two and comma three are let it be E one, E two and E three respectively. Now therefore you can see E1 equal sigma 1 by E that is equal P by the stress is P by A1 and E by that E2 equal P over A2 E and E3 equal P over A3 E. Now let us get uh, more space. Now
but we know that strain in section 1 we call change in length delta L1 change in length of section 1 over L1 and E2 we can write delta L2 over L2 and E3 for change in length that is delta L3 over L3. From that we can get it delta L1 equal E1 L1 which is equal E1 already we have P over A1 a1 e and l1 similarly delta l2 you can say e2 l2 which is equal p l2 over a2 e similarly delta l3 equal e3 l3 which is equal p over l3 over a3 e now Therefore, total change in length of the bar, total change in the entire, entire length, length of the bar equal, that is DL equal, we can say it is DL1 plus DL2 plus DL3. We can substitute the value of P L1 is uh, P1 P L1 over A1 E plus P L2 over A2 E plus P L3 over A3 E. Therefore, delta L equal P over E is common. Then we can write L1 over here delta e okay equal p over e l1 a1 plus l2 a2 plus l3 a3 suppose here this is the total change in entire length that is delta L equal to P over E L1 A1 L2 A2 L3 A3. Suppose if three sections have different material if three section have different material then we can say the Young's modulus are E1 E2 and E3 for section 1 section 2 section 3 if it is like total change in length delta L equal P over here E instead of E had right E1 E2 E3 like L1 over A1 E1 L2 over a2 e2 plus l3 over a3 e3 this is the final expression we have done please subscribe our youtube channel